Well, good afternoon. Good Sunday morning. Good afternoon. I have been having some technical difficulties this morning. This is the Apostle. How are you all? I typically come in on the noon hour. Uh, again, as I shared, I was ready to go, but I was having some technical difficulties and uh, actually a blessing uh, just gives me an opportunity to prepare a little longer for the message and also just to make sure that uh, I'm settled in my mind exactly how God wants to proceed on this morning. So typically I have music, again, technical difficulties, but that's okay. The enemy, sometimes, you know, you have those days where you can give, you can give up. You know, it's easy to say, you know what, this isn't right. This didn't work. This doesn't go the way I planned, so I'm just not going to do it. But you know, the devil is a liar. Uh, we have to be determined people. We cannot allow anything to get in the way of the plans of the Lord. Amen. We don't allow anything to stop us on Monday mornings when we have to work. We don't allow anything to get in the way of us making our coins and making our money. And so we need to be even more diligent about the things uh, concerning our soul and concerning the things of God. So good morning again. This is the Apostle. I'll be talking a little bit about uh, this morning that it will not harm you. Amen. I had a revelation on this week and I just wanted to talk a little bit about and share with people because I think it is very important for us to know that sometimes when God shares things with us, it's not just for us. There are other people that need to hear as well. So this week, the Lord, he said, I promise. He kept saying, I promise. I promise it will not harm you. It may hurt. It may sting. But there will be no permanent or lasting damage to be found. I just wanted someone to be encouraged on this morning. I know you may be going through a difficult season. You may be going through a difficult time in your body, your finances, and your emotions, your ministry, and your mind, and your family. There are so many places and so many ways for us to suffer harm or injury. But the Lord says he promises. He said he promises. Not Sandra, not someone else. The Lord by his spirit promises that it will not harm you. It may hurt you, but it won't harm you. So the difference is harm is permanent or lasting damage. There are things that God will allow us to go through. It may hurt. It may put a squeeze on us. It may put some pressure on us. It may apply the squeeze, but the Lord knows it is going to be the 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 doing of that process of going through that squeezing and that pressing, just like going through the process of oil, olive oil being made from the olive. There is a pressing, there is a crushing that goes on when we go through difficulties. But the Lord said it will not harm you. There will be no lasting damage. Yes, it may hurt. It may sting, but there will be no lasting damage. I want someone to get encouraged on this morning. I know it may hurt for a moment. I know it may seem like the enemy is winning. It may seem like you've been crying in the night long enough, God, but the Lord says it will not harm you. The damage will not be lasting. It will be temporary. The sting, God is going to take the sting out of it. He's going to take the hurt out of it. It's going to be minor in comparison to what you would have gone through without the Lord getting in the way. Amen. We have, we serve an awesome God. I'm going to read a little bit again. This is always, scripture is always something we can use to back up the word. But when the Lord begins to speak by his spirit, amen, the power of God can move. When you share the word he has shared with you, the Lord says, I promise, I promise it will not harm you. It may hurt. It may sting, but there will be no permanent or lasting damage to be found. I know some of you feel like this is the last straw. I know some of you feel like nothing is worse than this 
pain that I'm going through. I know some of you feel like nothing can get worse than this. I know some of you feel like I've been through this and I know I can't go through nothing else, but the word has told you. The Lord has spoke on this morning. The Lord said, I promise. The Lord promises that it will not harm you. It may hurt. It may sting, but there will be no lasting or permanent damage. Why? Because let me read Psalms 47. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout to God with the voice of triumph, for the Lord Most High is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. He will subdue the peoples under us and the nations under our foot. He will choose our inheritance for us, the excellence of Jacob, whom he loves, see la. I'm telling you, Psalms 47 on this morning, when I saw the first verse, shout unto God with a voice of triumph. That means you can shout now. I know when the word comes and it tells you in Romans 8 and 28 that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and the called according to his purposes. But God has confidence in your recovery. God said you will make it through this. You will bounce back. You will make another stab at it. You will be successful. You will go forth. But the operative word is you got to accept the fact that it's not meant to harm you. It's not meant to give you lasting damage. Don't get mad at them. I know it hurt. Shake it off. I know you got to cry some tears. I know you may have to rock yourself to sleep, but Lord said the spirit of the Lord is speaking on this morning. It's not intended to harm you. It's not intended to leave you with a lasting damage. It's not intended to break you down to where you can't get up. The Lord say, I know it hurts you. I know it cut deep. I know it went deeper than anybody know. I know you've been crying in the night. I know you can't fix the pain. I know it's one of them itches you can't scratch. I know it's so deep no man can fix it. I know words can't can't even cover it. But the Lord said, I promise, I promise whatever you've been through, whatever you're going through, whatever you done lasted through, whatever you still enduring, the Lord says, I promise, I promise it will not be no lasting damage. It will not be no permanent mark. God said, you will recover. You will recover. I just need somebody to know on this morning, I can't say it in those little voice. I keep trying to get quiet, but I can't say it. Good morning, Rhonda. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor Saquon. God bless you. I'm preaching and sharing on this morning. God say, I promise. The Lord, when he say he promised, you better listen. Lord say, I promise it will not harm you. It may hurt you. It may sting you, but it will be no lasting or permanent damage to be found. You will recover. God has confidence in your recovery. He is Alpha and Omega. Revelations 22 tells you he's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And because he's eternal and in the past, all at the same time, there is nothing that is of a consequence that the Lord doesn't know about. Nothing has caught him off guard. Everything concerning you is carefully mapped out. It's strategically plotted. He knows exactly when to do it. Exactly when to pull the plug. Exactly when the box of gold cards going to fall in. He know exactly when you need to turn around. He know exactly how far to let you fall. He know exactly how much pressure you can take. I'm telling y'all on this morning, I just got to let somebody know the Lord promises it will not harm you. It won't harm you. It's going to hurt. It may sting the haters. It may sting for a minute. It may knock you aback, but the Lord said the damage, it will not be permanent. He says, listen, our agony is faith fertilizer. Let, let Man, let me break this down. Listen, uh, 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 what is this? Uh, Jamal Bryan, he said, success many times is your ability to survive agony. That was a word for somebody. Success don't always look like you think it do. Sometimes success is you surviving the agony. Surviving the thing they thought that was going to take you on out. Surviving the thing that the devil thought this was the last straw. Surviving the thing that they can't believe you still standing after that last thing. Yes, surviving still and still giving God the praise when the devil thought this time when he dug that ditch and you fell off in it that you wouldn't recover from that. Our 
God is Alpha and Omega. He see you going in the ditch, but he made a way for you to come out. I'm telling you, listen, sometimes success don't look like you think it did. Jamal Bryan, I'm telling you, I heard a word from him the other day. And that stuck with me too. He said sometimes success is you surviving the agony. Huh? Success was, was going to the cross and being resurrected. Amen? But guess what? Had he not gone to the cross, what would the success be? What would we have to hold on to? What would have been the whole purpose? Amen? Success was him going to the cross. The agony enduring what was going on on the cross. All of the things, the pomp and circumstance, all the beating, all the humiliation, all of the naysayers, all of the ones that said crucify him after they had said Hosanna. All of the things he had to endure on the way to the cross. Getting to the cross was the success. The agony of the cross was the success. That was the success. Sometimes you surviving the blow was the success. Sometimes you surviving the marriage and the divorce was the success. Sometimes you surviving through the pandemic and recovering from COVID is the success. Sometimes being able to feed your family in the middle of a famine is the success. Sometimes you got to look at it a little different. God has confidence in your recovery. He is Alpha and Omega. He saw you when you went in. He going to make sure you're covered in the middle. He going to be there to see you when you come out. Our success is already preordained. But we must partner with kingdom principles, prayer, divine connection, in the right field of labor, in the right season, to see astronomical acceleration to purpose and destiny. Let me say that again. Our success is already preordained. But what do we have to do? We got to partner with kingdom principles. We got to pray. We got to have divine connections in the right field of labor, in the right season, to see astronomical acceleration to purpose and destiny. Let me go here a little bit. We're going to read 2 Samuel 22, 3 through 4. I'm just coming on this morning because I know the devil tried to tell somebody they ain't going to make it, but the devil is a lie. Devil tried to tell somebody this week, you're not going to recover from that, but the devil is a lie. The devil, he always trying to tell you what you're not going to do, but I'm one of them people. I'm not, 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 not listening to the devil. Huh? Amen. Psalm, I'm sorry, 2 Samuel 22, 3 and 4. The God of my strength in whom I trust. Come on now. We in 2 Samuel 22, 2 through 3. Let me start in verse number 2. It says, and he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Come on, you got to make it personal. Come on now. What we talking about? The Lord say the damage ain't going to be lasting and it ain't going to be permanent. You going to go through something. Yes, you're going to go through something. Some things we brought on ourselves. Some things we just didn't know no better. Some things was a tear soul from the enemy. Some things we got tricked into it. It don't even matter. But God said, whatever it was, whatever you fell into, on voluntarily or involuntarily, whether you did it on purpose or you did it by accident, whether you walked into it or fell into it, God said, the Lord says, I promise, I promise you it will not harm you. It might hurt you. It might sting you. But guess what? I am the bomb in Gilead. There will be no lasting or permanent damage. You will recover from this. God knew he could trust you to come out. 2 Samuel 22, 2 through 3. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. The Lord, the God of my strength in whom I trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. You saved me from violence. Listen, there is nothing that the enemy or anyone could bring upon you that is a surprise to God, that he does not have an action plan to bring you through uh, successful on the other side. 
at the, all I'm telling you is our God is great. He is our rock, our salvation. He is a fortress, our deliverer. He is a fence around you. He knows everything coming from the back. You know, sometimes we might get hit in the back of our head. Listen, we ain't got to look behind us because God is back there. He got he guides us with his eyes. So he got us in front of him. We behave behind us, guiding us every way we need to go. So there is no angle that the enemy could come at you that's uncovered. God has you covered on all sides. He said he's your rock, he your fortress, he your deliverer. He's your strength. You need to trust in him. He's your shield. He's your horn of salvation. He's your stronghold. He's your refuge. He is your savior. Listen, there is nothing too hard for God. We're talking about on this morning, if you went through it, if you survived it, if you're still here to tell about it, listen, the Lord said, I promise it might, it will not harm you. It might hurt you. It might sting you. It might knock you back. But there will be no lasting permanent damage because God is our deliverer. He is the one watching how much pressure to apply. He is the one saying that's enough. He is the one saying you and went too far. Listen, no price was too expensive for your safety and your success. That's why in Jeremiah 29 and 11, let me go there and read it. It says, I know the plans I have for you. You're not an afterthought. God already know the plans. He knew you was going to recover from that situation. He knew you was going to recover from the betrayal. He knew it was going to sting you, but it wasn't going to stop you. He knew you was going to recover from the repossession. It might have made you embarrassed for a minute, but you kept on moving anyway. Listen, there are some people that have gone through some things they done gave up. I'm only talking to the ones, the believers that still holding on, the ones standing in faith. The Lord has said, I promise it will not harm you. It may hurt, it may sting, but there will be no permanent or lasting damage. God has confidence in your recovery. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Listen, God got you on his mind. He is thinking about you. You are not an afterthought. You are not a mistake. You are not just a happenstance. God had a plan when you was commissioned into the earth. When you were coming into the earth before you got here, he already knew what you would endure. He is Alpha and Omega, I'm telling you. For he knew the thoughts that he had toward you. For you got here, the Lord says, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Amen. God has a plan. He says, the Lord says, I promise it will not harm you. It might hurt. It might sting, but there will be no permanent or lasting damage. Let them laugh. Let them make jokes. Let them do what they do. But God said, whatever they tried, whatever they did, it will not be no lasting damage. It will not be nothing permanent. It's going to blow over just like that situation. Listen, our walk is pre-planned, power-packed with pressure, pain, pleasure, and purpose. And because of that, it's impossible to lose. Again, let me say, God has preordained your walk with him to be packed with power, pressure, pain, pleasure, and purpose. It is impossible to lose. Listen, pressure, pleasure, pain, and purpose. The process may hurt you, but no harm, no harm, no permanent harm will come to you. He promises. He's trying to change you from a fisherman to a fisher of men. Are you ready for that change? Are you ready for the leap? Are you ready for that, that, that jump? Listen, many people are still in their feet fees. They can't get past what happened. They can't get past what God allowed. They can't get past what was in his permissive will. They can't get past that they went in the dead end. They can't get past that they feel like they waste their time. They can't get past that they prayed and it didn't happen when they thought. They can't get past that they prayed and it didn't go like they wanted. They can't get past it. The Lord said, I promise whatever it was, it was not intended to harm you. It might have stung you. It might have hurt you, but there was no permanent or lasting 
everything damaged. Listen, God knew you would recover, but you got to get up. You got to dust yourself off. You got to know he knew what you was going to do before you did it. Bit Alpha and Omega, he is in your future and your past at the same time. Listen, I heard someone say he go through and make sure to all line up the workout, and then he comes back and get you started to get going on the process. God already set you up at every juncture to be successful. If you don't win in the natural, you won in the spirit because you took a learning from the last thing. Nothing was intended to harm you. It all was intended just to teach you how to turn from a fisherman to a fisher of men. God wants you to understand it's not about you and what you want. It's about you and the purposes and the will of the Savior. Amen. The Lord said the hurt and the damage was part of the process to get you pruned so you could be purposeful. You got power that you need to be unleashed, but you got to be pruned. You got to have power to go forth to do what you need to do, but but you got to understand, don't take it personal. It's not personal. What that song Jermaine Jack used to say, don't take it personal. Take the bitter with the sweet. Easy come, easy go. There are some things you're going to go through on these different levels that you're going through, but faith to faith and glory to glory, you're going to encounter things and people that you didn't expect, but keep your eye on the prize. God then told you, I promise, he promised that whatever you went through, it was not intended to harm you. It may have hurt, it may have stung, but there is to be no permanent or lasting damage. I want somebody to give yourself a break, give God a break, forgive your perpetrator who you think holding you back, holding you down. Because according to the word in Psalms 47, he says he is an awesome God, a terrible God. He is on your side. He is on your team. He is in your corner. There is nothing that escapes the eye of the great one of Israel. He neither slumbers nor sleep. You can put your confidence in him. God knew no matter how down through there you went, no matter how low you go, no matter if you was laid out for the count. God has confidence in your recovery. <clears throat> he knows that you can bounce back. You can make it. You will be okay. Maybe it looks like everything is on the ground right now, but the Lord said, I promise I will not harm you. It will not harm you. It may hurt. It may sting, but there will be no permanent or lasting damage. God is in interested in turning us from people that are all in our feelings and about ourselves and fishing of just being a fisher to being a fisher of men, fishing for a material thing, fishing for accolades, fishing for approval, fishing for likes, fishing for all of these other things. He wants us to be fisher of men. And in order to do that, we got to go through a painful power pack process that's filled with pain, pleasure, all of these things, purpose, pressure is necessary. But God said it will not harm you. It will not hurt you. It will not harm you. It may hurt you, but it was not intended to bring any permanent or lasting damage. You are in the recovery phase. You done been through it, been there. Wipe your face, get over it. It happened, believe it. But guess what? God is about to recover. God has confidence in your recovery. However low you went, God is able to stand you back up on your feet. Whatever you thought you lost, God is able to increase your past that. Whatever you thought you had to give up, God is, you can't beat God given. God says, I promise it will not harm you. It may hurt. It may sting. But it was not intended to leave any permanent or lasting damage. Go through your go-throughs with, with the Lord. You're going to go through some things on your way to eternity. Amen. You're going to go through some things on this Christian walk. You're going to go through some things. But God has your back. God is right alongside with you. Our success is already preordained. But we have to partner with the Lord in, in applying kingdom principles. Praying. Divine connections. Being in the right field, working in the right labor field, in the right season to see astronomical acceleration to purpose and destiny. So we got to let it go. We got to let it go. We got to give, we got to forgive God 
We got to forgive ourselves, forgive all of the people that we want to hold hostage, that we want to blame for our for where we are, for what's going on in our lives, for what's not there. Whatever the reason is, the Lord said, nuh-uh, baby. He said, the Lord says, he promises. Whatever happened to you, the betrayal, the, the backstabbing, the lying, the cheating, it's happened to all of us. If you're a believer, the persecution, God said it was not intended to harm you. It may hurt. It may sting, but there will be no permanent or lasting damage. So that means you must forgive and keep it moving. You got to shake it off and keep on walking. Why? Because our walk is pre-planned. It's power packed with pressure, pain, pleasure, and purpose. And it is impossible to lose if you're on track with the Lord. He says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He desires to change those that are fishermen into fishermen of men. In. So you got to let it go that it didn't go the way you went. You got to let it go that it left you. You got to let it go that she put you on child support. You got to let it go that they sued you. You got to let it go that you didn't win the court case. You got to let it go that you didn't get the loan. You got to let it go that they pulled the car. You got to let it go that she died. You got to let it go that he left. You got to let it go that they don't listen. You got to let it go. You got to let it go. The Lord said, I promise you, whatever it was, whatever it was, unfair, it will not harm you. It might have hurt you. It might have stung. But it was no permanent or lasting damage to be found. So forgive the Lord. Forgive yourself. Pick up the pieces and keep it moving. Because why? Our success is already preordained. But we got to participate. We got to get in the fight. We can't win if we're on the sidelines licking our wounds and our feelings, feeling sorry for ourselves, still mad because we went through, still mad because we endured. But guess what? You survived. What did I just say? Success many times don't look like we expect. Success sometimes is surviving the agony, surviving the repossession, surviving the divorce, surviving them taking your kids, surviving you losing your job, surviving getting out of the big house, surviving losing your job, surviving not being able to do what it is you want to do when you want to do it. Being okay with that and accepting in the season where you are is going to allow God to show up and show out on your behalf because why he has promised that it was not intended to harm you. It was for your making and for your doing. It may have hurt. It may have stung. But there was no permanent or lasting damage. Amen. Our agony is faith fertilizer. And pressure makes our praise real, authentic, and honest. A person that ain't really loving God going through their thing. And they don't understand the sacrifice of praise. They will sit there like a big fat HR puffing stuff. But when you understand that when praises go up, blessings come down because the Lord said, I promise whatever you're going through, whatever you went through, whatever happened, listen, you endured it. He said it didn't harm you. It might hurt you, but there will be no lasting or permanent damage. Amen. We got to leave it in the, in, the hand, in the hands of the Lord. He is eternal and the past all at the same time. God saw your past, your past and the future all at the same time. Our agony is our faith fertilizer. When we survive the harshest of harsh, when we survive the most that we endure the most unfair and we keep on going, that's when God gets glory. Pressure makes our praise real, authentic, and honest. That's what God is looking for. He listen, He's looking for real worshipers, real praisers, authentic people, and those that are honest. So guess what? You got to go through your process. The process is power packed with pressure, pain, pleasure, and purpose. The process may hurt, but not to, it is may hurt you, but it's not intended to harm you because you got promises you want to receive. So the Lord, because he knows that he promises the process, it will not harm you. It may hurt, it may sting, 
but there will be no permanent or lasting damage, saith the Lord. God bless you. Go ahead and get over it. God is going to do some amazing things because you survived the agony, because you kept going, because you succeeded and continuing to press forward in the things of God. You got up the next day and said, okay, Lord, I know I took an uppercut. I can't believe what happened. I don't know how I missed that. I can't believe you let me let me go through it. But guess what? I'm still holding on to your unchanging hands because you promised me you will be with me to the end of the ages. I'm going to give you a chance to prove your love to me and I'm going to stick in there with you. That's what God needs to hear. I'm not going to drop out because I took a blow. I'm not going to drop out because things didn't go the way I planned. I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to stop giving. I'm not going to stop serving. I'm not going to stop believing. I'm not going to stop believing. I'm not stop, stop, stop holding on to my faith because I went through some things. The process, it may shake you. It's power packed with pressure and pain and pleasure and purpose. But if you survived it, there's no possible way you can lose because God is on the other side and he is confident in our recovery. So God bless you. May God keep you. I promise, saith the Lord, it will not harm you. It may hurt you. It may sting. But there will be no permanent or lasting damage in Jesus' name. Amen.